Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to World of Outlaws Dirt Racing Crew Mode for episode 68. We're going to the finale of the 360 sprints, and hopefully, we can after that we can move on to another series. So, of this of this game, because we still got like 11 or 10 more <laughs> things to win. <laughs> so, hopefully, that can happen today. We got a 26 point lead. I mean, we have to we have to choke on a galactic scale for that to happen. We're going to Eldora, which usually always bodes well for us no matter what series we run. So this is a very good opportunity for us to gain points. Because the rest of the races, I don't know. So uh, I would like to maximize my, my good days. So I feel like, that's, uh, I feel like that can be true to, to real world stuff too. I don't know. But yeah, um, that's our settings. Nothing's different. Um, there's really not a whole lot else to look at. We just have to worry about Ashley and where she's running. So um before we actually jump into it, always a big shout out to my YouTube Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members who support my channel. Again, I appreciate that every month. The perks you get are early access to the videos, as well as channel emotes and stuff when I live stream. So those are them perks. Without further ado, let's, 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 do, let's do things. Two, three, and four. As always, the goal time in qualifying is way harder than anything in practice. But I'll take a 13-1. That's nice. So Usually that means we'll start, or at least do pretty good in the actual race itself. From based on how this season's went. And Ashley is okay, she's fifth, so not on pull. So that's that's promising. Let's just get the heat over with and hope we move on to the dash or or, or the qualifying dash or whatever. Oh, I didn't I forgot Ashley's in this one too, so that'll be interesting to see how that develops, but yeah, we started third. We might finish third. I mean, that's just kind of the par for the course with this game. It just seems to happen way too much, so that's kind of what I'm expecting. Yeah, nothing changed. The only concerning thing is Ashley beat me there, so I don't know if we're going to start worse now. Oh, it's still ninth. Okay. It's nothing gained, nothing lost. But I think Ashley's still going to start fifth, because as long as I don't make the qualifying dash, the, the actual field order I don't think changes in the top eight, so I guess that's good. What I mean by uh, Ashley is going to be starting 5th, or just why the qualifying dash, I mean, if she's still starting 5th, that, that's what I was trying to allude to. Me and my wardings always fail me. But yeah, Youngquist is up here. Hopefully he'll, he won't get boned because he's been getting just the, the shorthand of the stick in so many races lately that it's been quite sad how his championship's been ripped away from, but we actually got a decent start there. We're actually up to 6th, so that's promising. I think it's time to use the high lane and kind of work from there. I don't know where Ashley's running. I, she might be second, which is scary, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that. So, Oh, and she's leading. Oh, is she really going to try to one-up me after my win? My miracle win of the season that took a lot of yellows and we got very lucky, in, in a sense. Yeah, she just... Oh, no, the eight-ball man took it back. Okay, that helps me out. Oh, we got the track position. We're, we're, damn, I got a... The bottom lane gave me a run there. I don't... I, was not really expecting. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll take second. I, all right, I wasn't expecting that either. Props to Ashley. She's actually keeping up with me on that bottom lane there. I'm trying to use a little bit of cushion. To... <sighs> Again, I lack the skill or talent to do any of that, so we just, we'll just drop two spots. That's fucking wonderful. And, uh, oh, yeah, thanks for the slide job. That was really necessary. You know, it's just, th thank you. We're just, but you know, it's, it's just I'm just a championship competitor. You know, championship leader. You know, trying to, you know, thought you can give me a tiny bit of slide. No, no, fuck me. That was close to death. That's more death in front of me, but somehow we dodge it. That's good. For whatever reason, Ashley took the bomb there. Lap traffic was kind of in the way, so I sort of understand that decision, but it's gonna cost her a spot. We'll get back up to third. Those are two valuable points that we can gain on her, so I would love to get that, even if it's just a small points a couple of points it's 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 important my flags out looks like we're gonna get third which is pretty good i thought maybe cause once we got the second i thought maybe we had a shot to try to get second there oh thank you lab traffic for just fucking screwing me up as always like why why it's just he was on the outside line that whole last lap it seemed like and then all last lap oh i'm gonna cut down low it's, it's fucking morons almost costed me there uh, shockingly that somehow messed up Ashley Moore, so we, we'll gain four points. I didn't... Uh, sure, it's just... Thank you, Lab Traffic, for causing problems that didn't need to be a problem. That was just stupid. So, white flag. Okay, so... 
We're going around the track. He ran the high lane that first. Don't wonder why I was shocked because then three and four, he goes down low. It's like, well, I thought you were committed to the outside. No, you're just going to fucking chop me off. That's smart. Fucking idiots, man. Almost cost me the race. Or, almost cost me. Well, I don't know if it would have cost me a championship, but that could have easily cost me a couple spots there because they were right on my ass right at the end. So that was going to be tragic, but thankfully it didn't happen. It was just really fucking stupid. God damn. Dude. They're just trying so hard to make me lose this championship, and I'm just, I'm just spiting them. So, yeah, we gain more points. That is officially 30 points. So, I'll take it. And Yonkowitz didn't get boned. He actually got ninth. And we'll get probably good earnings like usual. Yep, 38,000. That's very nice. Millstone Park. I think we ran here before. It's, I don't really remember us doing very well, so... Uh... I'm a little scared about that one. We'll see how that goes, so let's just hope. Two, three, and four. Oh, hit the outside wall a little bit, but yeah, we're not going to get the gold time, but we can get pretty close. Again, that's ninth. That's where we ran into Dora, so I don't know what that means for race trim, but we should at least have maybe a top five run, and Ashley's third, so that's a little bit scary, so hopefully she doesn't... Uh, I don't know. I mean, we definitely got, I mean, we got a 30 point lead. We got three races. So if we lose, our, on average, for us to win championship, we basically need to lose like eight points a race just to be like completely comfortable. So, because I don't know what tiebreaker is, how that works. So we basically, on average, need to at least finish, she needs to at least finish second, and I need to finish like seventh, and then I think we'll be good. Or sixth, or something like that. So our third, finish third. Again, what's new? We're starting ninth, so that's where we originally qualified, so that's good. The only problem is Ashley is, yeah, on the bottom lane, so she might get the second. So, uh, not great for us. It seems like, it's hard to describe, but I think one and two, the bottom lane's better, but three, four, the, the top lane's better, but... I don't know, the only positive thing is this track is wide, so it's not super condensed, stressful, anxiety-inducing, nightmare fuel, so... I appreciate that, we did lose a spot, I think, so... Get it right back. Ashley's trying to go for a lead. They're all bunched up there. Which is a good chance for me to try to do something, but I can't. Oh, Youngquist took the lead. That's interesting. But, yeah, we're just going to get past here. I would like to... I think the outside line is the way to go. We need to get that... You know, hit the cushion, kind of get a good cu uh, cut off the corner. Sort of like that, but to a much bigger degree. So we finally got the lane we want to. Now we can start to really pounce. We'll take seventh place there, slap the track, hit that cushion a little bit. Oh, oh, we got blessed. A yellow. And Ashley second on the outside. That's actually really good for us. Ooh, this is We have a shot here. So we just have to we just have to nail this start. That's all we gotta do is just nail this start and keep the bomb lane here. And hopefully migrate eventually to the top because clearly that's where the car really likes to, to really excel at. But these starts, they're always so scary. So we're just going to have to kind of play a little bit of defense here until things settle out. Ashley's dropping back, which is good for me. Somebody tried to poke their nose there on the bottom, but we're not having it. I don't think I can go up to the top lane just yet. Or, yes, I can. Well, I mean, we hit the wall, but, but I mean, if we can cross this guy over, then we can really start to do things. But I feel to do it. Didn't really have enough of a run. I don't know what kind of line this is, but this is not going to be the... The path to get to fifth. Okay, don't know how that worked. I I mean, he was kind of in the lane that I need to be in. I was just kind of like one car length down, and somehow I got it. So, I'm not complaining. I just, I'm just trying to understand. Ooh, that was a good cut through the corner. Might be able to get to uh, eight ball man here. Try to slide job him up here. There we go, textbook. No matter what happens, we'll have the preferred line here up on the high side to maintain our optimal speed. And we got it, perfect. Another just glorious cut through the corner. Ashley's gonna get held up by lap traffic. I tried to cut down low there. I thought maybe we could do something there, but unfortunately it didn't work. But it looks like Youngquist is finally gonna get some good luck and win. It's just too bad he's like 200 points back from us, so it really doesn't matter, but good for him. My flag's out. If I didn't mess up that one time with uh, lap traffic I would be maybe a little bit closer to Ashley but I mean I guess fourth isn't too bad we're still going to maintain a very nice point lead and the car seemed pretty sporty so I'll take a fourth that was way better than I thought so 
I, that's really good. Like, even if Ashley just finishes one spot in front of me, that's not enough for her to beat me. So we're we're good. And uh, props to Justin Yonkos for finally getting a win. That's that's what a what a journey he's been through this whole season. So the point situation, obviously nothing was really lost. I mean, Justin got a win, so that's that's good. Um, we're only 28 uh, to the good in points, so things are looking promising. Just it's hard to be definitive with with anything in this game. So just if we go, if we have that kind of point lead going into the last race, I think then I could be a little more at last. It ease. Next up is Fairbury. I mean, I'm pretty familiar with this track, so I like to think we can do something there, but you never know. So uh, let, let's get into it. I'm curious. Through three and four. It looked like we're about a tenth off on the first lap. I don't think we're going to do much better here, but... Okay, it's tenth. That's slightly worse than the last two races, but I don't think anything too horrific, so... I don't know. And Ashley is... Okay, she's not in the top ten. Oh my gosh, she's choking? She's, oh boy, 17th, yikes. All right, well, I guess the game is going to give me this championship. I didn't, you would think like 10, 15 races ago, you think this would be the end of the series this season, but it's just kind of flipped on its head now. Started third, finished third again. I don't know how to feel about any of this with the consistency slider. I don't know really how much it affected things. I hate to think we're going to win a championship because that was adjusted, but I don't really know. So I guess we'll have to... I don't know. It just it just feels weird because we were struggling so much before and they're running so well. I don't know if that really. I don't know how much that affected things or just the tr the track combination for me is just a lot better compared to the first half. I don't really know. If anything, I mean, we got a nice start there. We're doing good. Luckily, Ashley did not start up front, so you know we really don't even need these spots. But this is just more for just security purposes, just to make sure we're going to the last race with as, as big of a cushion as possible. That's just casual death. I'm, I'm so numb to it because it happens like every week. So apparently that's just how sprint cars wreck all the time. It's just They tap one another and they just explode. I mean, if that's the case, then shit, why am I not watching it? <laughs> that's just another casual car that just wrecked. And we lost a spot in the process of all that. Don't know how. I tried using the outside line, but of course, you know, it just doesn't work. I just suck at it. So we're just going to keep it to the bottom and we'll just kind of cruise to a top five, hopefully. Point flags out. Of course, lap traffic just... Constantly being in the way, just for no reason. Well, at that time I thought he was gonna go up to the high side. We might lose fifth, maybe not. All right, fine. Okay. I, this is it's just so scary. It's just scary, you know. It's just it's such a risk. You trying to take a different line and hoping you don't lose the spot, but luckily we got it that unscathed. And Youngquist wins again. Good for him. Uh, Ashley ran horribly, 18th, a lap down. God damn. All right. Well, I think we all but won the title now. So we got a, oh boy, 54 point lead. Yeah, I, I, th I think that officially uh, clinches it for us. So that's good for us. That's, uh, that's, I didn't think it'll be that much going into the last race, but I'll take it. Ooh, we got a video message. It's, I can't say it's been a while because we got one last part. You race the right way, super clean with respect. You're making friends and turning some heads out there. And that's the most important part. Keep it up. Thank you. That was that was that was very nice. I I appreciate that. Oh, it's Madison. It's the it's the bigger version of Prairie View. Uh, okay, I I keep once I see the track, and then it, then it clicks with me. So yeah, that, that's the one. That's one we're kind of familiar with. So I think we'll do actually pretty okay. Through three and four, we didn't really get our goal time. I mean, the goal time is insane. What the. F in practice, it was, what, 11-3? And this one's three-tenths quicker versus that in practice? Well, it's like, well, no, I mean, it, I had no shot of it just doing well there at all. But Ashley actually started worse. That's interesting. Uh, Youngquist, actually 12th. Too bad on, he got boned so hard by this game, he might have been in championship threat. But, of course, you know, the game had to, you know, had other plans for him. Started fourth, not third, but fourth, and got third. So... It was actually slightly different than the normal heat. Starting 18th instead of 24th, so that is a net positive. We'll get to the bottom here right away, so that's good. So, yeah, um, there's really not a whole lot at stake for us. We just have to, you know, finish the race and not just embarrass ourselves, so... Yeah, just, if I can, we can get out of here with the top 10, since this is a showcase race where ultimate tryhards are there, then I think we can... That's... Oh my god, it's four wide. Yeah, I'm uh, not going to be a part of that. 
They settled amongst themselves, so that was good. And they just gotta try to, you know, just, just hang on. Boy, it's nice to have a season-long points format where the champion is, like, actually deserving or... You know, it doesn't get ripped for me because if, if, if it was like a Final Four thing, then Youngquist would be winning it and it would be kind of horseshit because he was not the best all year. But, you know, it's nice to have a full season points for him. It's almost like as if Dirt Racing is more legitimate than uh, modern NASCAR now in terms of how they crown a champion. Crazy, but yeah, that's, that's true. That's a wreck. And that gains us two spots. Orbithal, I guess, somehow got caught up in it or, or I don't know what exactly happened, but I'll take the top ten. It took some wrecks to, to, for us to get to this point, but I'll take it. Two laps to go for me. I think the leader's hitting the white flag. They are really fast. It's just comical how much of a speed discrepancy it is between me and the national people. But we'll barely stay on the lap. We'll bring it home 10th, so that's good. I mean, it's still the white flag, though, but I think we're the last car on the lap, so I don't think anything's going to change with that, so... Um, yeah, we did exactly what I wanted to do. We get a top 10. We'll, we'll, we'll clinch the championship. I don't even know if Ashley made it even in to the A mains. That's another interesting question. Um, wow, I don't think she did. That is a choke among chokes I've yet to see. Second in points did not even make it to the A main. Wow, and Young Quiz was actually behind me. Ooh, I, who was I thinking? Oh, seventh was Chase Johnson, and that was in. They both had red cars, so I thought, you know, I thought that was Youngquist, but no. So, we actually were the highest among all the, well, I mean, among all the national people or something, but regional? I keep getting those two mixed up, but, okay, except for the 83, who I think is faster, I don't know. But whatever, we won a title. We did good. We did what we needed to. And just like that, we are a champion. We are a champion. We're a champion. I can't, I cannot talk. Yeah, Ashley choked on such a scale. Justin almost got to second there right at the end. So we won by... Boy. Oh my god. Almost 100 points. What, 96 points? God damn. That is... Uh, that is disgusting. Ashley got 24th, so she was the last... Wow, she... I guess just barely missed out on the A main. But yeah, we... That's a lot of points that we gained on her there right at the end. Because she didn't make it to the A main, so... That's 40 points right there, I think, so... Um, yeah, that's, uh... That's insane. That's, uh, kind of not really what the season was sh shaping up to be for a long time. It was between me, her, and Justin, and all of a sudden, at the end, it just all fell apart, so... Th the game's gonna make this series continue just out of spite. That's the only way I can understand this situation. This game is being a bastard. We don't get our top five sponsor goal, but it's okay. We win a championship. Remember in the old sprint car game, like World of Outlaws Sprint Car 2002, where you won a championship, or like the season end, you get bonuses and stuff? That would be nice if we got something like that for the end of the season type of stuff. Instead, we just don't get anything. Kind of bugs me. But, uh, celebrations at Madison Lake carry on late into the night. Yeah, damn right. Considering I had one win, and it took a lot for that to kind of happen, but I'll take it. We were almost a winless champion. We actually got Fantech as a sponsor, but unfortunately... We're not really doing this 360 sprint anymore, so it really doesn't matter. But we'll go with Fantech just to... We'll, we'll give them a, a sponsor. We'll, we'll accept their offer, but then we won't do anything with it and piss them off. That's our overall season standings. It looks like pretty much every race except for two, where we did not get in the top ten. That was at race number ten, and then at race number... Oh, well, no, race number ten, and then race number... Or showcase? Race nine? I don't know. No, we actually, no, we finished, we, God, I can't read. It's so freaking small. Why is it not bigger? Oh my God. So one, two, three. Yeah, there was four races where we ran outside the top 10 and that was really bad. And then I don't know at what point we swapped to the, I think it was around race 16. And then after that, we started to run. So I don't know if the consistency really did that much for us or not. I don't know. But it, it kept the series alive. I'll, I'll give it that much. I don't know why I passed me put to 100 when default was set to 50, so I don't, I don't understand that, but... Okay. It's sad that even when I win a championship, I still have to be skeptical. Sp spectacle? 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 Oh my god. Holy shit, I can't talk. How would I... What is the word? Skeptical. Wow, that took so much brain power. That's sad. Um, But yeah, we're going to go to the pro late model. And we'll race that. 
that's what we're going to be doing next. So we're just going to accept it, purchase that for 20k. We'll just get to the, the base stuff out of the way. Because I want to see how many races we have to do in this this uh, this series. So I'm kind of curious about it. Oh, it's 23. Ooh, that's actually less than the other series. So that's good. I think at this point we've gone to all the, the different tracks. I'm not really sure, but I don't know. Well, we'll accept that. I think we have more than enough money to actually max out everything. So, I mean, might as well do that too in this part. Why not? What do we got to lose? But first, before we upgrade anything, let's swap our crew so it's on this stuff or like the pro late model thing so we can get more uh, money discounts and stuff. So we got we got the the gang here. It took uh, what it cost us $9,000, $3,000 each to get them over to this. Don't know how that works or makes sense when we already have them. So why do we need to pay them again to... I don't know. I don't know the logistics of things, but they're there and we're ready to, uh, to buy some stuff. So just to kind of prove my point, I guess. So we got the, all the level 4 upgrades, which is what the uh, regional stuff is. So yeah, we, our car isn't like, I guess, fully maxed up because we didn't get the other parts for the level 4. So once we do that, then it'll start to go up even more. So it is, I guess it is important to just buy out the whole row. Yeah, it does go up. So yeah, we'll just we'll just do that for the rest of them. So we had about what 1.4, 1.5 million, and by the end of this, we were only around 700,000. So, boy, that cost us what 700,000 for all that. So eventually, no matter what series we do next, unless we rack up a lot of money in this season or just do really well, the other series might be really. I don't know if we'll be able to max everything out just right out of the gate like this series. But then again, we are upgrading everything from from scratch so maybe it cost less or, or more for this and less for the other one i don't don't know but that is a lot that we just spent <laughs> um we should be able to make up almost 800 or a million of that during the season hopefully i'm not really sure because we don't really we're not gonna have a sponsor so we're not gonna get extra sponsor money for a while so i don't know i mean we'll update the paint scheme next episode and get all that stuff situated but for now i think this is a good time to wrap up this part Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters of Dan Rollins, Kamikaze Games, Dave Hunter, Champ 15, Billy Kira, Golf Again 100, Mexican Link 1986, Mark Harmon, Akbar Fan 5556, and Jason Helmer for support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It always does me a lot. Always goes a long ways with everything. So just thank you, as always, for the continued support and just doing all that extra stuff for the channel. That makes me very happy. That'll do it for me next episode. I don't know how many races to do apart. Maybe three, maybe four. I, I don't know. But I think that, I don't know, I, if this series is going to be hard, I, I got a comment saying that the the, the the sprint stuff is like 5% harder in difficulty versus the rest of all this. So will this be another series where we are just kind of crush the field? If so, then I guess we'll do more racing in a part. And then after this, I mean, we've raced in everything else in the uh, other series. So it shouldn't be that much of a scare, or at least I know what to expect for the rest of, like, the big block modifies, UMPs, 3 three or five sprints, like... It should, I should have an idea of how those will be, but don't know how interesting those are going to be if we're just going to just destroy the field, so I don't don't really know, but I guess we'll find out, but I guess that'll do it for me, so uh, I'll see you all next episode, see you all later, I just backed out the whole career mode, that's very, no I didn't, okay, so yeah, I'll see you all next episode, see you all later, and as always, have a good day everyone.